How to remove Total Protect 2009 Rogue Security Program, which gives you false results on the scan when the scan finishes and tries to wants you to buy a license to remove something bogus that's not on your computer. Um, you're gonna want to download Malwarebytes. Go to malwarebytes.org and click the download now right here and and then you're gonna want to come up here click download now again <coughs> then it's gonna come up and you want to save the setup on your computer and you want to install this um, and then once you install it, you want to open it up, and at the end, it will uh, have a place to put a check mark to run it, to launch the program, and to update it. Uh, when you open it up, it's going to look like this. Um, you're going to want to go to the scanner tab, which it goes to by default. Uh, each time you open up this program to run it, you want to go to the update and check for updates and cl click check for updates button. Um, you you want to perform a quick scan. It should be on there by default. And you want to come down here and hit scan and it will take a while um, to scan. And it will show you all the registry files and program the files that Total Protect 2009 put on your computer, giving you the fake alerts and pop-ups and all that annoying stuff. Um, and if you continue to see symptoms of Total Protect 2009, you want to do a full scan. Um, the next program I'm going to tell you about is going to be super anti-spyware. Now this is um, downgraded from Malwarebytes. Malwarebytes is is a little bit more powerful but this is a good spyware um, program to have. Um, it is spyware free. It is a legit program. Um, super anti-spyware gets the not just the hard ones, but the easy ones. Um, you want to go to spyware, superantispyware.com, and you want to click download now. And then you want to come down here and click download free version home users. And you want to install that. It's going to come up. And you want to save the, f the setup and install it. Now once you do that, you want to open it up. And you want to check for updates. Um, if you just installed it, it might already check for updates when you get done installing it. You want to go to scan your computer. And you want to just do it on a quick scan. It will um, scan your registry items, cookies, uh, memory, startup locations, any of that. And let it scan and when it finishes, uh, remove that stuff that it farms. And, uh, to make sure your computer is clean. Um, another useful way to get rid of um, to clean your internet catch and all that good stuff, you want to go to attribune.org and you want to get the ATF cleaner. It is a program already. You don't need to install it, but you once you you want to click ATF cleaner right here, and it will come up like this. Well, I'm going to have the link to where you just click it and it'll go to that site and it will just bring it up like this and you want to just save it to your desktop or wherever. And once you have done that, you're going to want to open it up. And this is what it looks like. Um, if you have use Firefox, you can hit select all and it will ask you are you sure you want to delete your Firefox save passwords? Um, I wouldn't. If I was you, 
I was like, yes, um, I wouldn't have any saved passwords on your computer just because of safety if uh, somebody was to get on your computer, um, they would automatically be able to log on to your account or whatever site you're on. It goes for any of the sites. I wouldn't save a password. This is what I'm recommending you for your privacy. But, um, so you want to, once you open it up, you want to go to the main back to the main if you went to the Firefox thing. You want to hit select all and hit click select empty selected and it'll clean out everything listed here which is pretty good. It's a good tool. Good program to have. Next thing I want you to go to is go to ccleaner.com ccleaner.com and download this ccleaner setup and install it. Um, you just want to click download ccleaner now and just download that and come right here wait come down here and you want to click download from file hippo and come over here and click download the latest version and just it'll come up like this and you want to save that and install it now when you install this um, you want to make sure that you have the Yahoo toolbar unchecked. You want to do the custom install and have the Yahoo on Yahoo toolbar unchecked. Um, once you do that, you want to open it up after you installed it, and you want to come down here to the registry, and then you want to come over here. You want to click scan for issues. Now, once you scan the issues, scan for issues will come up. Um, you ask you do you want to back up your registry? I recommend doing it. Um, so back the registry up and then go to fix selected issues, and it'll come up and say fix selected all issues or fix all selected issues and. Uh, that will clean your registry. I would do that until nothing shows up here. Um, but um, thanks for watching, and uh, I have those links in the description. And if you can't download any of these, I will have I have uploaded them, so I will have alternative links in case those links you can't get them from. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any comment, any messages, any questions? Please feel free to message me. Um comment, rate, and also subscribe because I got more videos on the way. Uh, thanks for watching.